Yep, you guessed it. Hey guys, welcome back. In today's episode, we're going to check out my sister's F30 BMW 340. Let's go. So guys, this is my sister Nadia. Uh, it's quite obvious to see you got the looks in the family, and that will be me. So hi to the people. Hi everybody. So Nadia's going to tell us a little bit more about her, about her F30. Okay, Nod, so tell us about the things that you most enjoy about this car. Alright, so let me start from, from this side. I, I've discovered this little nifty compartment. And you can see that my Wayfarer Ray-Ban sunglasses fits in beautifully there. Right. I like them a lot, um, you know, the prescription lenses, so because I'm short-sighted. So please make sure that you drive with proper glasses and can see where you're going. Of course. So this one fits in nicely there. Then let's just look at the exterior first before we go further into the interior. Um, we'll open the bonnet just now. I must admit for me, I'm not quite keen on, on the line here for the bonnet because if you look at the new um, the new BMW M340, the new shape, yeah. the lines are much smoother and more rounded. But that's just personal um, preference. All right. I quite like these LED lights as well. I mean, they're very comfortable um, during nighttime driving, especially, you know, in, in darker places. So they lit up the road very nicely. Okay. If we then look at the tires, I mean, 19 inch rims, uh, diamond cut, mm. max. Um, I also like the calipers there at the back that you can see nicely. Mm -hmm. The front tires differ a bit from the, from the back tires. You'll notice the front tires is 225s yeah. with a 40 uh, profile, 40 inch profile. Yes. And the back tires are a bit wider. They're 255 um, wide and with a 35 profile. So that obviously helps with you know the road sticking to the road much better and also with the with the cornering. So this All right. car really sits nicely on the road. Alright, so let's have a look inside the boot. Um, I've, I've spoken to you about the tires. It's run flat tires. So you'll notice mm -hmm. there's no spare wheel. Um, so it actually makes it very convenient, especially for, for me as a lady. Yeah. You know, should I run into a flat tire problem? I can actually drive with the car at about 80 kilometers per hour to you know, a, a, a place of safety. Sure. And, and, you know, with Rescue and whatnot. Exactly. Okay. The boot is, is you know, very nice and and um spicy and spacey and i can put my umbrellas and what have you in there so it's it's quite comfortable so i'm going to open the bonnet for you quickly is yes. it uh, there's a typical bmw bong noise <laughs> <laughs> so um quite frankly i don't open the bonnet that often yeah so that's why everybody the whole world is watching I know these are little and they realize you never open your own bonnet and i can't find pop the hood <laughs> <laughs> you've got no idea do you <laughs> wait let let creepy crawly help you i, I think you need to pull it twice <laughs> this is a very practical example of how not to open your bonnet pull it another pull it, pull it twice did you pull it twice Okay, right, right after each other. Yes. Okay. Let's, okay. It looks like it's it looks more like it's open, now. open now. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah. yeah. Here she is. Quite dirty, yeah, I might see. mention. Yes. yes. Um, I've been traveling on a bit of gravel road as well. She doesn't use the same car as I do. Clearly not. All right. Tell us about the performance of this bad boy. Okay. So it's a three-liter engine. It's a unit. Well, one turbo. <laughs> Yeah, right. twin, twin scroll, yes. Twin scroll. 
um, and it goes like a bomb. 240 kilowatt. Yeah. 450 newton meters. Is it a is it a V6 or straight six? No, no, it's a straight six. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, um, tell us about the G20, the new the new Beamer, about the specs of that one. Yeah, so that one is a little bit faster. Yeah. That one pushes about 275 kilowatt yeah. with 500 newton meter torque. So, so it's quite a significant increase. So um, yes, it does more to 100 in 4.4 seconds. And this one? This one probably five, six seconds. So I take it you guys already had a look at the new G20 uh, 340, eh? Hey? Yeah, it's, it's, it's really a beautiful car. Um, what can I say? I'm aspiring to that one for, for the uh, next Alright, so that's, that's your next aspiration to get into that one. Yeah. Right guys, so now we're going to go for a nice ride and we're going to try to show you guys what the performance is of this car. So let's go and check it out. of this vehicle is the fact that you, you can actually put your takeaway pizza in this little job here and you can keep it safe and sound no matter how fast you go.
did forget to show you is that the iPhone 11 Pro Max doesn't fit nicely or snug into this area here that's supposed to be charging your phone. We must understand that the car had been built before the iPhone 11 Pro Max had been introduced. So for me, it's not really a problem. At least the phone's got good battery life, so I don't need to charge my phone in the car all the time. Or alternatively, I can just use my USB cable and charge it from here. So not really a big issue for me. Well, Nard, thank you very much for sharing your car with us today. We definitely enjoyed it. I also hope you enjoyed it. It was an absolute pleasure, and I really hope the viewers had so much fun as I have. Thank you so much for watching this episode today. Remember to like and subscribe and catch you in the next one.